Hello students, I hope everybody is fine. So here I am again with my second lecture of the series Biological Classification. In this lecture, we are only concentrate on the kingdom Monera. Pe. All right. So kingdom Monera, as we know, is bacteria's kingdom hai and bacteria are omnipresent. We will talk about them properly, we will talk about their classification ke mein baat and mere channel ko subscribe and like karna na bhule, kyunki, jo, NCRT के बड़े-बड़े चैप्टर्स हैं उनको बिट्स एंड पीसेस में डिवाइड करके उन्हें अच्छे तरीके से समझाया गया है सो so दैट आपको वो लर्न करने में इजी हो आल्सो इस सीरीज का जो पहला वीडियो है जिसमें बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन का इंट्रोडक्शन प्रोवाइडेड है वो उसका लिंक जो है वो मेरे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में है उसे क्लिक जरूर करें सो so दैट आपको इंट्रोडक्टरी पोर्शन भी इजीली कॉम्प्रिहेंड हो जाए और आने वाले सब्सिक्वेंट वीडियोस में आपको किंगडम प्रोटिस्टा के बारे में और सब्सिक्वेंट किंगडम्स के बारे में भी प्रॉपर्ली और बहुत ही ज्यादा इजी तरीके से समझाई गई जानकारी मिलेगी सो दे किस बात की है लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So today, let's start with Kingdom Monera. All right, we have studied already that in Whittaker's five kingdom system of classification, all the prokaryotes have been kept in Kingdom Monera. So today we are going to start with Kingdom Monera. All right, so bacterias are the sole members of Kingdom Monera. That means all the bacterias are taken as the members of Kingdom Monera. Aisa kyun hai? Because bacterias have incipient nucleus which type of nucleus do they have they have incipient nucleus i hope you know what is the meaning of incipient incipient ka matlab hai primitive now what do you mean by primitive primitive matlab not well made not well made ka matlab jiske aas paas koi nuclear member pre membrane present nahi hai all right now again bacteria are the most abundant microorganisms and they occur almost everywhere. So occurring almost everywhere. Kile kaun sa word istamal karte hain hum? Omnipresent. So we can say that bacteria are omnipresent, right? So first of all, we have studied that bacteria are the sole members of Kingdom Monera. Secondly, they are the most abundant microorganisms. And thirdly, they occur almost everywhere. That is, they are omnipresent. Hundreds of bacteria are present in a handful of soil. They also live in extreme habitats such as hot springs, deserts, snow, deep oceans where very other few life forms can survive. Now, we are going to study further ki wo aisa kaise kar sakte hain. Inki jo cell wall hai, cell wall mein kuch difference hota hai than the normal plants. That is why they can thrive in such harsh climates. Many of them live in or other organisms as parasites. I hope you know what are parasites. Parasites are those organisms which derive their nourishment from the host organism and in turn they harm the host also. All right. Now we are going to talk about the categories of bacteria based upon their shape. It is a very important question which is asked usually in your exams. What are the four different categories in which bacteria are divided? based on their shape all right so the first one is coccus the first one is coccus and its shape is spherical all right so spherical bacteria are known as coccus and the plural is cocci right and its example kya hai streptococcus i hope you are well versed with binomial nomenclature so its example hai streptococcus right it is the spherical bacteria which we have to underline because it is the genus. All right. Now, second jo shape hai, that is bacillus. Second category based upon the shape is bacillus. Bacillus ki shape kaisi hoti hai? Rod like. Hamara common dahi wala bacteria. Iska plural kya hai? Bacilli. All right. And common dahi wala bacteria kya hai? Iska example that we are going to take a look at is lactobacillus. All right. So, the rod shaped bacteria is lactobacillus clear third third group in which the bacteria are divided according to their shape is vibrium all right vibrium is the singular 
one and plural is vibrio so these are comma shaped comma shaped and the common example is cholera causing bacteria which is vibrio cholerae all right so this is the example of comma shaped bacteria vibrio cholerae and finally the fourth shape or fourth group depending upon the shape is spirillum bacteria plural is spirilla and the shape is spiral all right and the example is spirochete all right so the example of spiral bacteria is spirochete c h a e t e all right spirochete now as you can see in figure 2.1 these different shapes are shown here cocci are spherical in shape bacilli are rod like in structure spirillum are spiral in structure and they have flagellum at both the ends as you can see here and finally vibrio are comma shaped though the bacterial structure is very simple that is they are very simple in structure but they are very complex in behavior they have a very complex behavior when compared to other organisms bacteria as a group show the most extensive metabolic diversity that means unka metabolism what is metabolism some total of all the chemical reactions that are taking place in the body to agar hum unki baat kare to bacteria jo hai wo bahut complex hai in terms of their metabolism although their structure is very simple some bacteria are autotrophic autotrophic matlab they can prepare their own food using inorganic substrates like the plants and the autotrophic bacteria can be of two types they can be photosynthetic autotrophic or they can be chemosynthetic autotrophic that means photosynthetic ka matlab they derive the energy for their food production from the sunlight whereas chemosynthetic ka matlab kya hai they derive their energy for the synthesis of food by the breaking of chemical bonds so such are chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria zyada tar jo bacteria hai most of them are heterotrophic in nature that is they do not synthesize their food but depend upon other organisms or dead organic matter for their food ye heterotrophs hai aur jo heterotrophs dead organic matter ke upar thrive karte hain unhe hum kya bolte hain saprotrophs kya bolte hain unko saprotrophs ya saprotrophic bacteria they are also known as decomposers all right i hope you know that they are known as decomposers clear now we are going to talk about different groups of bacterias all right so bacteria is cooking the monera ko aage further jo bacteria hai unko classify kiya gaya hai different groups mein to jo unme pehla group that we are going to study is archae bacteria so what do you mean by archae bacteria archae bacteria ka matlab hai ancient bacteria ancient matlab jo bahut hi zyada purane time se ya bahut hi zyada टाइम से प्रेजेंट है इस अर्थ पर एंशियंट बैक्टीरिया वी वन टॉक अबाउट दैट इज आर के बैक्टीरिया दीज बैक्टीरिया आर स्पेशल सिंस दे लिव इन मोस्ट इन सम ऑफ द मोस्ट हार्श हैबिटेट हार्श मतलब जो कि नॉर्मल लिविंग के लिए सूटेबल नहीं है कौन कौन से हार्श हैबिटेट हैं सच एज एक्सट्रीम सॉल्टी एरियाज जो बहुत ज्यादा सॉल्टी एरियाज में रहते हैं उन्हें क्या बोलते हैं हेलो फाइल्स हेलो मीन्स सॉल्ट एंड फाइल मीन्स लविंग सो दीज आर सॉल्ट लविंग बैक्टीरियाज दे कैन बी प्रेजेंट इन हॉट स्प्रिंग्स जो हॉट स्प्रिंग्स में रहते हैं उनको क्या बोलते हैं थर्मो मतलब हॉट एसिडो मतलब एसिड और फाइल्स मतलब लविंग दे लव मतलब हीट एंड हाईली एसिडिक कंडीशन सो थर्मो एसिडो फाइल्स दे थ्राइव इन हॉट स्प्रिंग्स एंड हाईली एसिडिक कंडीशन एंड सम आर प्रेजेंट इन मार्शी एरियाज मार्शी का मतलब दलदल वाले एरियाज एंड दीज आर नोन एज मिथेनोजेंस सो बेसिकली आर के बैक्टीरिया को हमने ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द हैबिटेट दे लिव इन डिवाइड किया गया है इनटू हेलोफाइल्स थर्मो एसिडोफाइल्स एंड मिथेनोजेंस और राइट सो नाउ व्हाट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन आर के बैक्टीरिया एंड अदर बैक्टीरिया दैट मेक देम सूटेबल फॉर थ्राइविंग और सर्वाइविंग इन सच हार्श कंडीशंस सो आर के बैक्टीरिया डिफर फ्रॉम अदर बैक्टीरिया इन हैविंग अ डिफरेंट सेल वॉल स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस फीचर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर देयर सर्वाइवल इन एक्सट्रीम कंडीशन तो यहाँ पे एक क्वेश्चन राइज होता है वॉट वॉट फीचर्स डू आर के बैक्टीरिया हैव विच हेल्प देम टू सर्वाइव सच हार्श कंडीशन तो यहाँ पे आंसर क्या देना है उनका जो सेल वॉल स्ट्रक्चर है दैट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल बैक्टीरिया 
नाउ एक क्वेश्चन यहाँ अराइज हो सकता है कि उनके सेल वॉल स्ट्रक्चर में ऐसा क्या डिफरेंट है हमें पता है कि नॉर्मल बैक्टीरिया जो है उनका जो सेल वॉल है इट इज मेड अप ऑफ पेप्टाइडो ग्लाइकिन और राइट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ पेप्टाइडो ग्लाइकिन वेर एज द सेल वॉल इन केस ऑफ आर के बैक्टीरिया इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स पॉलीसेकराइड प्लस प्रोटीन और राइट सो दिस इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन द सेल वॉल ऑफ आर के बैक्टीरिया एंड द सेल वॉल ऑफ नॉर्मल बैक्टीरिया मिथानोजेंस वी आर गोइंग टॉक अबाउट मिथानोजेंस आर प्रेजेंट इन द गट्स गट्स मतलब एलिमेंट्री कैनाल ऑफ सेवरल र्यूमिनेंट एनिमल्स र्यूमिनेंट एनिमल्स कौन से होते हैं लाइक कैप्टल काउज एंड बाफलोज एंड दे आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ मीथेन और बायोगैस फ्रॉम द डंग ऑफ दीज एनिमल्स वी नो दैट रिमिनेंट एनिमल्स के पास डिफरेंट स्टमक्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं उनके पास सिंगल स्टमक की बजाय स्टमक के डिफरेंट पोर्शन प्रेजेंट हैं तो जो उनका र्यूमन वाला पोर्शन है काउस और बफलोस का वहाँ पे प्रेजेंट होते हैं मिथेनोजेंस या फिर मिथेन प्रोड्यूसिंग बैक्टीरिया इसी वजह से इनके डंग से हम लोग क्या बना सकते हैं बायोगैस द नेक्स्ट ग्रुप ऑफ बैक्टीरिया दैट वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इज यू बैक्टीरिया सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाई यू बैक्टीरिया यू बैक्टीरिया मीन्स ट्रू बैक्टीरिया और राइट सो ट्रू बैक्टीरिया विच आर प्रेजेंट इन अबंडेंट क्वान्टिटीज दे आर ओमनी प्रेजेंट प्रेजेंट ऑलमोस्ट एवरीवेयर और राइट सो दे आर कैरेक्टराइज बाई द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ रिजिड सेल वॉल वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस रिजिड सेल वॉल दिस रिजिड सेल वॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ पेप्टाइडो ग्लाइकिन and if these bacteria are motile that means they can move around they have a flagellum all right flagellum is singular and flagella is plural so another group of bacteria that we going to talk about is cyanobacteria also referred to as blue green algae which have chlorophyll a which is similar to green plants and are photosynthetic autotroph that means they have a colored pigment green colored pigment which is chlorophyll a and they can prepare their own food by utilizing sunlight all right there can be cyanobacteria can be unicellular they can be present as a single celled body they can be present as colonies or they can be filamentous also they can be marine that is present in the sea or they can be terrestrial algae they can be present in the form of terrestrial algae यहाँ पर ये याद रखने की जरूरत है कि एलगी हैव बीन नाउ प्लेस्ड इन किंगडम प्लांट बट स्टिल दीज आर नोन एज एलगी बिकॉज दे वर प्रेजेंट इन किंगडम प्लांट इन द टू किंगडम सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन और राइट सो नाउ द कॉलोनीज आर जनरली सराउंडेड बाय अ जिलेटिनस शीथ जो कि इनको वाटर प्रूफ बनाता है और इनको स्लाइमी टच देता है और राइट नाउ they often form blooms in polluted water bodies i hope you have studied about the term algal bloom algal bloom kya hota hai jab pani mein bahut zyada nutrients pad jate hain to un nutrients ko utilize karne ke liye uske upar bahut sare bacteria cyanobacteria grow kar jate hain aur water jo hai wo polluted ho jata hai some of these organisms can fix atmospheric nitrogen and have specialized cells called heterocyst very important question ये क्वेश्चन जो है वो आपके एग्जाम में बहुत पूछा जाता है कि वॉय हाउ कैन साइनोबैक्टीरिया फिक्स एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन दे कैन फिक्स एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ स्पेशलाइज्ड सेल्स नोन एज हेटरोसिस सो हियर वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ साइनोबैक्टीरिया दीज आर नॉस्टॉक एंड एनाबीना दीज आर द बैक्टीरिया साइनोबैक्टीरिया again we are going to talk about chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria we have already talked about photosynthetic autotrophs now we are going to talk about chemosynthetic autotrophs those which use the chemical energy of the bonds to prepare their food and they utilize or oxidize various inorganic substances such as nitrates nitrites and ammonia and use the released energy for their atp production atp is adenosine triphosphate which is the energy currency of the cell all right they also play a great role in recycling nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus iron and sulfur so these are the this is the economic importance of cyanobacteria so here we have studied the economic importance of cyanobacteria clear now next we are going to talk about is 
heterotrophic bacteria which are the most abundant so heterotrophic bacteria are the most abundant in nature and majority of them are decomposers that is they thrive on dead decaying substances many of them have a significant impact on human affairs again here we are going to talk about the economic importance we have already talked about the economic importance of rk bacteria wo kya thi they were used as methanogens again jo cyanobacteria hai they are used to fix atmospheric nitrogen plus they help in the recycling of nutrients again we are going to talk about heterotrophic bacteria in ka economic importance they are decomposers and they are helpful in making curd from milk they help in the production of antibiotics they fix nitrogen in leguminous roots nitrogen fixing bacteria kaun sa hai rhizobium kaun sa bacteria hai rhizobium you have studied this in lower classes that rhizobium is present in the root nodules of leguminous plants and it helps in the fixation of nitrogen some are pathogens that is disease causing and they cause damage to human beings crops farm animals and pets also again some of the bacteria also cause diseases like cholera which is caused by vibrio cholerae typhoid caused by salmonella typhi tetanus citrus canker as well as other diseases caused by different bacteria so bacteria ki economic importance yahan pe humne padhi eu bacteria ki cyanobacteria ki aur heterotrophic bacteria ki economic importance kya hai how are they important to us they are helpful also and they are notorious also they are a major cause of different diseases that we see in human beings as well as animals and plants bacteria reproduce mainly by fission so here we're going to talk about how bacteria reproduce so the main mode of reproduction is by fission fission may be kaun se fission hai usually binary fission all right binary fission may one bacterium divides into two equal parts but sometimes under unfavorable conditions they also produce spores and they can also reproduce by a sort of sexual reproduction which is sexual reproduction is usually known as conjugation in which the male bacterium is known as donor and the female bacterium is known as recipient bacterium all right and this recipient bacterium receives a plasmid or f plasmid from the donor via a conjugation bridge right and this is a sort of primitive sexual reproduction that takes place and in this way they tied over unfavorable conditions primitive type of dna transfer from one bacterium to another takes place with the help of a conjugation bridge so this is known as conjugation again mycoplasmas are another group of bacteria which completely lack a cell wall in fact these are the smallest of all bacteria and they completely lack a cell wall they are the smallest of all the living cells known and they can even survive without oxygen that means those which can survive without oxygen are known as anaerobic type of bacteria many mycoplasmas are pathogenic in case of animals and plants so mycoplasmas are pathogenic in case of animals and plants so yahan par hamara kingdom monera jo hai wo finish hota hai and subsequent videos mein i am going to talk about kingdom protista and the subsequent kingdoms so stay tuned and keep watching and keep learning